My name is Grant Morgan. I'm with Pokey Feeders in Scott City, Kansas. We are currently a 75,000 head commercial feed yard. 95% um, of the cattle here would be owned by somebody else. Most of the cattle here would come from about 17 to 22, 23 different states. Um, and today I'm here to talk to you about our water recycling system that we've been putting in on a four year plan. We started in 2014. Basically what we're trying to capture is all of our overflow water. Uh, most feed yards in our state predominantly are continuous flow water tanks, specifically in our area. So continuous flow water tank, what that means, when the temperature in the water gets to a certain temperature, basically freezing level, our tanks run a pickock valve that'll turn on and automatically allow water to continually flow in, not off of our float, how they're typically adjusted. So in the winter time, our water, um, when it gets to freezing level, our tanks will continually flow and will allow the water not to freeze. And so that water um, eventually ends up in our lagoons, which we capture that water and eventually pump it onto pivots, um, irrigation pivots and grow growing crops. Typically we grow cane silage, some triticale that we graze and chop in the fall and spring as well. Um, we currently have approximately about 600 pins and about 550 water tanks. Uh, most of our tanks are 75, 80 gallon water tanks and have a three inch standpipe in the center of those tanks that allow the water, if the tank is overflowing, to flow through that drain pipe and through our drain line that eventually makes it into our lagoon. Or when we're washing water tanks once a week, that standpipe can be pulled out and the tanks can be cleaned. So typically, you know, on a given day, we'll have several tank plugs, is what we refer to them as, that are missing or pulled out of the tank by cattle being curious animals. So what I'll show you right now is this is what we call our south section of the feed yard. And our south section is based on 20,000 head. It's the third system we put in. It was actually just completed in about two weeks ago. Um, so basically all of our feed alleys run north and south. So our water lines and our drain lines go north and south as well. Both of them are about mm, two feet apart going through our pin. And so the water line goes into the tank, the drain line comes out of the tank. So all of our drain lines here drain all to the south side of this section of the yard and basically go into this ditch, which in turn funnels into this lagoon here. And so with our water recycling system, what we do is we draw or we lay an eight inch line surveyed out so all of the water will naturally flow back to this point right here. It's an eight inch line that looks like a horseshoe that goes around this section of the yard and comes back to right here so it captures all of our drain water. I'll take you over to the system itself now. So where we're at right now is what we call our collection tank. Our collection tank is actually 17 feet deep and about eight foot by eight foot. And so basically there's two pumps inside of this tank itself. Um, there's a pump that will send the, send the water into our recycling building where the water is actually recycled. And then there's a trash pump. So when we want to clean this tank, we have valves that are set to, to put fresh water in the tank so we can clean it. Uh, when we see fit. But basically the water comes into here and as you can probably hear there's water running today because there's probably a tank running over. The water will come into this pit. There's a sensor in this pit that when the water gets to a certain level um, our system will kick on. There's also a freeboard level in here if the power goes out and the trash pump doesn't kick on uh, water will automatically go back in the, into the lagoon. But so it goes in this pit. It'll fill up to a certain level the system will kick on and it'll start the recycling process. We've talked about already of how we actually capture the water um, and at this point I'll show you how we actually recycle it and put it back into our loop system for the cattle to drink. Um, when the, when the uh, water gets that certain level in the concrete tank, um, our pump will kick on out there and the water will be sent through one of these two media sand filters. There's silica sand that's up to about this level in the tank the water will be forced through there, uh, goes through the sand media filter. At that point, it goes into what we call our clean water tank. When the clean water tank gets to a certain level, which is about to right here, there's a sensor on it as well, that will turn this pump on here. This pump will pull the water out of that tank. It'll run it through the UV light. And then at that point, uh, we're back into our loop system here. Um, our entire feed yard is, is tied in with a uh, 
all tied together. All 17 wells we utilize um, are tied in what we call a loop system. So this is actually set up on a pressure switch. So the pressure in the yard does not dictate when this water kicks on or off. Um, if we're having wells run and they're almost at their limit when the pressure is, is high enough, it'll shut those wells off. It'll still pull this water first and it'll shut wells off at that point if it needs to. Um, currently, like we discussed, this is our third unit. Um, we started in 2014, uh, put in on our west side of the yard. Last year we finished one on our east side of the yard and now at the south section of the yard which captures about 82% of the um, water or cattle pens that we have here. Um, next year in 2017 we plan on capturing the oldest part of the yard is our middle section. It's the toughest for us to capture um, but we're planning on tackling that next year. So we should have 100% of the yard um, recycled at that point. Um, some statistics. So in 2016 so far utilizing um, two units, our west section and east section, which make up 55% that have ran so far to uh, August 30th, is right at 8.6 million gallons we've recycled this year. Um, in 2015, um, we only had one full system on, which is 23% of the yard, and the other system on for about four months. Um, but in that year alone, we averaged 5,000 head of cattle more on feed. We had an addition in that year as well. And we recycled uh, 1.3 million gallons less water than what we used the year before, having 5,000 more cattle on feed. So what that equates back to, our five-year average has been 10.3 gallons per head per day. Uh, we used in 2015, um, we used um, 9.6. So it equates back to 8% uh, less water used and, and only capturing really 23% of the yard recycled for the full year and 55% captured for um, four months. So this year um, we're hoping to kind of round out, um, you know, a little over 10 to 12 million this year is what our estimation is. Um, we're recycling our west and east units in 2016 just to shade over 37,000 gallons per day average. Um, so this year we're, we're hoping to capture, uh, you know, between, I say 12 million, around 12 million total for the year. Um, and next year with all three units going and part of the year with the full yard, we're hoping to get in the 25 million gallon range um, that we're going to recycle.